this quick video, we're gonna add some error messages when someone enters an amount that doesn't actually make sense. So for instance, if you try and do zero and do zero saved, you'll see it does actually load and it'll also save that zero value to Firestore, which for us is actually not useful. It's not really useful to be saving a zero amount there. You'll also notice with this spent button here, it, which is subtracting value, if we have, for instance, 150 saved, that should be the max that we want to allow them to subtract. So if we do 200, you'll see they go to a negative saved amount, which in the case of this app doesn't really make sense. Uh, if you wanna keep that functionality in your app, then that's fine, but we're gonna block that from happening. So we kind of set up a little bit of the view here. Right here, we're going to display an error message when one of those two things happens. And we're, this is gonna happen in the deposit view. So go ahead and open that. We're going to define a new string variable and we're just going to call that the error. And then now we can set this error once one of those cases are hit. We're gonna to wanna to check for those cases when either of these buttons are hit. And the way we set up these buttons are they're both actually pulling from the same action button widget here. So this is nice. We'll be able to actually write that logic just once. And we're going to write it within this on pressed here. So when the button's pressed, we're going to first check if the, first check if the value is valid. And then if it is, we'll save it. If not, we're going to display the error. So we can do this just with some if else statements and we're going to be checking that amount. So again, that amount is going to be the variable that's entered up there. And if that amount is equal to zero, and if you've been following along, you'll remember that these amount values are a string at this point and we convert them to an integer later. So if that amount value is zero, then we're going to set the state of that error message to be equal to uh, enter an amount. So that should cover the case when someone tries to spend or save a zero amount, it'll just block it from happening. Now let's add the case when they are trying to add a spent amount that's greater than their saved amount. For this, we're going to first check the type and again, that type is going to either be equal to spent or saved. So in this case, we're interested when it is spent. Now we're going to check if that amount that they entered is greater than the amount that they saved. Because if it's greater than the amount that they saved, we don't want them to be able to enter it. This would be using the amount. And we want to see if that is greater than the widgets uh, trip amount and the the widget trip dot saved so again in in firestore here we do have this total saved value which right now is negative 50 so that is that is representative of what is here uh it's a little strange because this is actually let's just go ahead and add 100 so that this turns into a positive but so yeah now this will be 50 so we're basically checking if the amount that they entered is greater than 50. And if it is, then we don't want them to, to be able to save to that. So we are going, since this widget trip saved value is going to be a double, we do need to convert this string to a double. Because we aren't going to be able to compare a string to a double. Um, and then in this situation, we're going to set an error here that says you've only saved and then tell them the amount that they've saved. So that will be like that. And we're going to need to, we're going to also want to put a dollar sign here. So we will have to escape that, that dollar sign out. So now it, the error here will say you've only saved and then it would be $50 in this example. Uh, we're also going to add a dot floor to this to remove the decimal points from that double. So it'll, it'll, it won't say 50.00, uh, it'll just say 50. And that looks good for that error. The last thing we're going to do is add one more else and then just wrap the, the logic that we already had written in that else. So if we save this and now we try and save with zero, 
you'll see nothing actually happens. We didn't get our, we didn't, it didn't submit it to Firebase, but we also didn't get our message here. So the last thing we need to do is just show that message. And that can happen right within that build, right within the build here, the widget build. We did kind of set something up right here when we built out this layout and it is this it is this padding text here. Right now you can see the text is just empty, but if we change that to be the actual error and we will keep that in a string actually, and then we can just put the error within that. And then if there's no error, we just want an empty string. So if you save that now and now click save, you'll see that error pops up here that says enter an amount. And then same thing with spent, either of them. Now, if we enter an amount, so let's say we add 25, this would be expected to work and we hit saved and it does. So now we have 75. And if we go and try and say that we want to spend 100, you'll, say, you'll see it now says you've only saved $75 and does not allow that action. So this is kind of a nice, extra step to do to prevent bad data from getting stored in your user's fire store document. And it just adds a bit of validation to what the user can and cannot enter. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one.